to say, but basically, if the worst thing that you can act, uh, ever happen is to have that that allegation thrown against you. Yeah, yeah. And like not have had sex with someone because. Then you know that yeah you know that it's you have no shit. reason to be guilty exactly that's and like the worst fucking thing that can happen like I'm trying to think of a, I don't know like okay in a way would you say it's worse to have someone throw a, a, an allegation out against you that you raped someone than it is to let's say you slept with a chick but you didn't have enough film and then she says you raped her well, do you think that's worse than not even being near the bitch or doing anything with her and then having that same thing happen. Well, I'd say it's, I'd say it's not probably, having any contact at all and being away from her and still getting an allegation would piss you off a whole lot more. I mean, it, it would cause a lot of anguish because it's like, because it's clear this bitch is really, you know. But at the same time, from the legal well, would you rather would you rather have would you rather would you rather have your whole life ruined and never because once that happens, it's you're ruined. Yeah. Yeah. So would you have, and there's no, there's pretty much no going back unless you go reinvent yourself, move to another fucking country, <laughs> change your fucking name. Would you rather have that happen to you, or would you rather have the fucking have it where I don't even know. What I'm, I'm just say saying, if you don't have any contact with them, then it would be harder for it to stick. It would, but it doesn't matter. But it's, it, I'm just saying, it doesn't matter if it sticks or not, because once it's said. It doesn't matter. Well, that's because of what society we live in. There's male dominant society of the, of the patriarchy. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just saying. Basically, what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter what you do unless you have that fucking camera filming. Like, if you need to fuck someone, then you better film it so you have proof that you weren't a fucking rapist. And you better have like time and date and specifically have some like evidence, and, like that it's mutual. Yeah, consensual. Consensual, consensual yeah. Well, now what Stardust says, and I agree, Stardust says it's just too risky to get involved with a woman these days. And uh, he's right, because the other day he said in the video that he wasn't like he didn't necessarily say he was done with women though. It is really, it is, it's too risky. But he he said that like he basically I'm not gonna say that I'll never have a relationship ever again. But right now, yeah, he said something, something that, like that, that. yeah. But like I, I'm basically that school of thought because like I don't really, I don't really. What can want you gain to, from a role? Yeah, like I don't really think that. I'm not gonna say that I'll never have one ever again because I'm still young. But I'm yeah, never, if I do, if I do, I'm definitely gonna. It's gonna be like a fucking project. Like I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be like dealing with fucking put radiation. together a model cars. No, no, because that's not dangerous, really. It's more like I'm. It's gonna be like. Well, here, I just got this nuclear bomb that's unstable, and it could go off at any time, and I don't really know anything about it. Or so, I work at a chemical factory, and i got to make sure these chemicals don't mix, yeah. and, I, and I better wear my protective gear. Pretty much. It's like, I don't see, I don't really, I'm not going to say that I'll never, like, but at, at right now in time, like, I don't really feel the need to... Like, and that's sad because you're almost twenty. Yeah, like, but I mean, like next I'll, month you'll be twenty. I don't feel like uh, it's it's there's it's not worth the it's not that it's not worth the is there just like a lack of return on investment? Pretty much, it's like because I could go. It's like um, but, oh, oh, we live in the mail. What is it? Oh yeah, Stardust hit really good. He's like. It's like, he's like, it's not finding a needle in a haystack, it's finding... I've seen that, it's like finding microbacteria in the haystack. <laughs> yeah, I remember like, that. Is it worth sorting through all of this bullshit to find, like, he had a really good berry anthology, like, he said it, it's like a... I remember A berry saying. that has all the nutrients you need, but it's in, not only is it in a big thing of, like, briar patch or whatever, but it's also only, like, 1.1% of the berries are actually the right one. Other ones are poisonous. So you want that one with all the nutrients, but there's all these. So not only do you got to put up with the bristles, you got all the other fucking poison berries too. It's like I could go. And look. Do you even know which one is the right one? Yeah, and I could go look. I could probably find someone, but should I even bother? Because what's it gonna lead to? <laughs> okay, in okay. relationships. You can see why women want the relationships more, in in a sense, than men because women have more to gain, right? That and and they can't for some reason they can't they can't not have some they need some exactly and you know what that gets they to? can't deal with not having it there exactly nine months ago 
Uh, it was uh, September. But yeah, I mean, look at it from their point of view. What do they get? They get some dick that might, may or may not be good enough. They get some validated. If it's not good enough, they can just go get some more from the other guy while keeping that guy who pays for the house. It's like cuckolding, yeah. Yeah, you get some, you get some dick, maybe. You get uh, a free house, and a guy who's gonna do whatever the fuck you tell him to. The guy who strokes your ego. Yeah, and he'll yeah he'll stroke your ego. And if you if you want it, you can get a kid out of him, and you won't have to suffer any consequences. And if you don't want to be around him anymore, claim that he sexually assaulted the kid. Yeah. Claim they raped you. Claim that that he beat you and all it's that like, shit, and you can make him disappear. It's like fucking. I don't know, it's too good. We're like Negroes. Like, We're like Negroes 200 years ago, and the women are like the white slave masters. Yeah, pretty much. It's a for them. It's a there's an, it's a win win. They for the most part. No, it's pretty much guaranteed win win. Well, they're sometimes so much, they're not always happy, so it's not completely. Perfect. But that's the thing. If they're not happy, look at all these ways out. And exactly. Yeah. And then they can also fuck someone else and do whatever they whatever makes them happy, and not really have any consequences. Pretty much. So it's win win. It doesn't matter. And then we men are so we are kept so freaking desperate that we have to take them back. For the most part, most we have to. Do. Most most guys will. Yeah. So who who's really losing out here? It's men. Men have been abused. For centuries, for thousands of years. I mean, I don't know if men have been abused throughout all time and eternity, for, but for a no, long ass time. I don't know. I don't know. I, I agree with you, and it's definitely been that. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the whole. Well, I've been a woman, and I've been put down. Or to a lesser extent, this is not to be racist, but you always hear like black people complaining about oh you, slavery, blah blah blah. It's like well, it doesn't happen anymore. But at the same time. I don't know, it sounds... But it's like, yeah, we've always been treated like shit, pretty much. And we still are. But I'm not gonna be like, well, back then, this happened, so I'm gonna think like this. It's the, I'm gonna look well, at things that actually affect me. But because, well, even if you tried that, 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 that justification won't be granted to you. I don't know. But I'm saying, like, I don't know. You know what I mean, though. Like, how you... Yeah. You but, still hear, like... Well, I'm gonna be like this because slavery happened to my people. Did it happen to you though? No, it didn't. And not, that's not to say that's right, because it's not. But it doesn't give you the right to just do whatever you want. Like but, how a woman. Well, well, remember, right? Like the whole fucking. Because supposedly, you know, they've always been. Oppressed. Uh, right. Always. And when yeah. they got to come out and do whatever the fuck they wanted to in the rise of feminism... And they still claim they're oppressed. Yeah, they still cling to it, even though they're not. When you're not, that's when it becomes... No, you don't get to do whatever you want anymore just because something happened to you. And at least it, it's legitimized with African Americans. It's not with women. And I like to use the African American uh, and slavery uh, metaphor and, and expression of this kind of stuff. Because, and, and see another thing. Black men were like the shining pinnacle or whatever of like humanity for yeah. a while. I mean, like of human character. And it, and it, I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, there are some shitty blacks out there now. Uh, but the, there's really good ones and all that. There's a mix. It's, However, yeah, that sounded really bad. What you should say is basically there's bad people in every fucking group. Well, there is, there is. However, it what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with anything other than. Some people are assholes. Well, what I'm using, I was using that as a preface to what I was, or a pre uh, to to what I was gonna say because I didn't want to sound like I was a black supremacist because because uh, what I wh what I was gonna say would kind of almost sound like black supremacy, but the black man has been like this shining jewel or this 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 triumphant testament of human character and they were amazing now 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 there yeah, are now i know what you mean now exactly like see, look, look now in the media who do you see well i mean you there are some crappy like blacks. basically the only choice you have for seeing black people in the media is you have obama Someone negative you've got lil wayne and he, basically they're all musical art you don't really it's either your sports star. They're kind of like celebrities. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. You, you never. They never will show you someone who, who's like a, a typical, like an act, like just a good person. Or it's always <clears throat> you. And when I was a celebrity, like as in either it's, it's sports or a fucking um, music, you know. Well, what I was getting at is like now you see that there are some shitty black people. 
But, a hundred years ago, that was like never the case. Like, pretty much every black person was, had good behavior, good personality, they worked hard, they, they took care of their families really good, they were upstanding. They were like role models. And it wasn't until the when feminism come around in the sixties, well there was there there was feminism before then, like even around World War One and all that, but right around the time when feminists start getting a fucking foothold in the system and start doing all their brawl burning bullshit, and basically what I'm saying is feminism destroyed blacks. It destroyed the moral character and the good upbringing and the tendencies of the black population. How would you say that? Because they grow up without fathers, because the women throw them out. All this shit. I mean, like, the, what I'm saying is, yes, sir. I'm just say, saying, explain we, something. We white like, basically, I see what you mean because you can look at it just you can look at it from a white standpoint too. I mean, we white people are affected also, but blacks, it seemed like it took their toll on blacks even worse than whites. Is what I'm saying. Well, then, see, women have always had the advantage because it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color you are, if you're a woman, you can still be the whole, You're my sister, we're mad, you go girl, we're together. The female collective. Man, man, man. They've always had that. And men have never really had that as much, because I, I guess it's been... Because women expect men to sacrifice, and therefore men expect men to sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And so men are squeezed from both sides. And... I mean, but what I'm saying is, feminism probably damaged the black population the most, and that's why you have shitty black people now. It's kind of like how I feel now. How I feel is like, uh, like the whole Michael and Cassie thing is like now I would kind of be like now that I know better, like that I've learned more, mm -hmm. I'd be like you know, I don't, I'm not really too mad mm -hmm. at this guy anymore because he's the victim too. Exactly. Yeah. And and we need to group together as victims and all that. Oh, oh, and. Uh, what I was getting on earlier before this camera runs out of time um, is because uh, on this day, the 18th of the month, on on on, um, on December 18th of 2011 is when I kicked my former owner out of this apartment and tried to get her out of my life. Thank God. And uh, so today it's been exactly nine months since I did that. Remember how we tried to talk about stuff from that bitch? Yeah. And it was all like, <laughs> 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 Go read Roman now. <laughs> and, and the woman hating has hurt my self esteem. <laughs> how do we feel? Yeah, at least we're not fucking slandering your gender on fucking television and accusing them of being abusive asshole stalker rapist. <laughs> but anyway, my point is. What was it? A couple weeks, uh, almost two weeks ago, she got into a relationship with uh, with some dude. Oh. His last name, I think his name is Eric Montgomery, but the point is she didn't even last a full nine months. Here I am, nine months already, and I still don't want to date anybody. You had, you had, you had a couple chances, too. You could have. And I, yeah, and I, 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 lost, I lost interest. I got rid of all my female friends on Facebook, except for my mom and my sister. And I got a list, a list of females that keep, the, the list keeps growing of females that, that <laughs> send me a friend request and I just ignore the friend request. Did I tell request. you about, did I tell you about the one I interrogated? <laughs> no. One sent, someone sent me a friend request and I go, I go, do I know you? And they go, no. And I go, interesting. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't uh, accept it. I didn't, uh. I didn't reject. I didn't even look. I just saw who it was. You just let it be, right? Yeah, I just went. I saw who it was, and I asked, her, like, do I know you? Because if I know you, and there's some legitimate reason for me to be your friend, then that's all well and good. We'll be friends. I mean, but she just didn't even know. And I was gonna say, like, I didn't even bother asking, like, why do you want to be friends? Because I don't give a shit. You know, I just put interesting. And what we're doing is we're treating women just like they're treating us, or like they have been treating us. And I, I feel it's completely justified. I am all for equality and treatment exactly the way they fucking, treat us. That's not even a big fucking deal at all. It's not like we're trying to get in their pants. No, well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like... I gotta start a new video. Why would it be... Stop right there.